you guys today i'm going to be doing a day in my life or really a day in the life of a new york dog walker because that is what i do i walk dogs every day here in brooklyn so i'm going to take you along with me maybe you've been thinking about wanting to do this job and i'm going to show you kind of what it's like i'm very aware of what i look like right now so please no judgment but yeah i'm going to get ready it's about 7 30 right now i'm going to do my skincare brush my teeth get some breakfast and then we're gonna go so come on Now we got the skincare done, we got the coffee going because I can't start my day without coffee. And now I'm gonna feed my dogs as you can hear. Stella's very hungry, so we're gonna do that now. <laughs> yep, she's ready to eat. You hungry? Here we go. Alright. Got the walking outfit on. Comfy. Kinda cute. I don't know. Let's go. So usually every morning I do ride the train, but since I have Joseph helping me out today with this video, he's driving me. So that's a bonus for me, even though he doesn't enjoy doing it. So one thing about this job that you do need to know is that each owner that you're dealing with has their own quirks, meaning some are very particular with their dogs, others don't even let you know that they're home, um, and some forget that they even have walks for their dogs during the day. So it's a big range. I always try to make sure that if I arrive at a certain time every day, I let them know, hey, I'm about five minutes away, or I just got here, or I'm about to walk up, just so that you keep them in the loop of everything that's going on. I know they appreciate it because they've told me that. So you always wanna be prompt, and you always wanna let your owners know where you are, how far away you are, and stuff like that, because they appreciate it. Okay, so we are about to pull up to where my first dog lives. I'm gonna go inside and get her, and then I'll meet you back outside, and we're gonna go to the park. The first walk of the Aww. day. Aww. <laughs> First poop of the day. <laughs> we made it to the park. I come here maybe four, sometimes five times a day during my walks just because a lot of the dogs live close to the park. Um, today we have eight walks, so about four of them will be spent here. Alright, so I just dropped off my first client, is what I like to call them, and I also took care of a cat that was for 15 minutes. I had to feed them, clean out their litter, stuff like that. I'll insert a video right here. Good job. But I didn't want to film inside the owner's apartment because I don't want to make anyone mad, but now we're going to my second walk, and thankfully the walk right after that one, they live next door, so we're going to get two done pretty quickly. <laughs> Ready for our second walk of the day. So typically how I go throughout my days, I have an app on my phone that has my schedule on it. It has where all the dogs live, their name, and it also has a timer. So I start the timer when I pick the dog up. Usually their walks are about 30 minutes, sometimes 45. I do have an hour long walk today, so yay. But yeah, I go off of my app and that's how I do my day. Good. All right, so now I'm gonna go drop her off. <laughs> I'm gonna go pick up my next dog, which lives right next door, so that's great. <laughs> oh. So don't tell anybody this, but she's one of my favorites, okay? So since these two dogs live so close to each other, I'm gonna take the same route, so I do this twice a day. One reason I really like walking her, besides the fact that she's so sweet, is that she's really good with other dogs. She doesn't try to jump at them, bark at them, or run after them and sniff them to play. She is so easy to walk, so it makes my job a lot easier as well. Time to go drop her off now. All right, so we've done three walks already and I visited a cat. Now I'm going to start my fourth walk. This dog lives in the same building as my next two walks after them. So I'm going to go back to back to back to pick these dogs up. And we're going to be going to the park with two of them, I believe. So let's go. She 
he's a little more stubborn than all my other dogs. Yeah, she's stubborn. Let's go, go on. So when this happens, let's pick her up. struggles with anxiety really badly. She's on medication for it actually. But she seems to be doing pretty good. I have to carry her in a bag to the park because she gets nervous. But look at that sweet face. <laughs> so these two are buddies. They go on walks together every day. And usually I'm watching them by myself, obviously, but Joseph's gonna help me out with the huskies. And this one's so excited! Yes, you are! <laughs> Let's go to the park again! <laughs> so something that I like and dislike about this job for where I work personally is I never get like big groups of dogs that I walk at the same time. That would be beneficial in some ways, but also it'd be very chaotic and hectic. So the most I ever walk are like two together like this, and it works out pretty well. It's not too much. For me to handle but I would I would make more money if I did it so I don't know all right you guys we're about to start walk number seven and then we have one more after this so let's let's keep going are you tired <laughs> One eternity later. Okay guys, I have finished my day. What did you think? It was tough for sure. My legs are very tired. I'm very tired. Yeah. But yeah, that's a day in my life as a Brooklyn dog walker. When I get home, I'll talk to you a little bit more about it. And yeah. Hi guys, I'm back. This is actually another day because I was just way too tired when I got home to film the end of the video, so sorry about that. But I wanted to talk to you about some of the things that come along with dog walking just in case you're interested in doing it or you're just watching this video for fun, that's fine. But I will say if you're considering this for a job, first of all, please make sure that you are a lover of dogs and animals in general. Don't just pick this job because you think, oh, I'm just gonna walk dogs and make money, it's fine. You need to really love them. You need to treat them the way that you would want your dog to be treated if someone else was walking them or pet sitting them. These dogs see you almost every day so they need to feel safe and comfortable around you and be excited to see you when you get there. Also, don't go into this job thinking it's going to be easy. I'm not gonna lie, before I quit my old job and I was looking for a new one, I was like, dog walking. I love dogs. I can just walk them around and make money. It's, it'll be great. It is very, very taxing on your body physically. I come home so tired every day that I don't even want to do anything and I work part-time hours pretty much, but I'm so exhausted when I get home. It's like I don't want to do anything else that I need to do or I should be doing. I've walked in the ice, the snow, the rain. Now I'm walking in the heat and that is exhausting in and of itself. Your feet get really, really tired. Sometimes your legs hurt or your hips hurt, whatever, you hurt. Not only are you walking the dog, but you have to consider walking to the dog, picking them up, walking the dog, and then walking them back home. In the video, I was being driven to places, so that made it a lot easier for me, but if you aren't gonna drive your car to all of your appointments, it's going to be a lot of work. I walk so many miles, and when I look at how many steps I take during the day, it shocks me. But anyway, yeah, if you're considering doing this job and you love animals, and you don't mind walking in the heat or the rain or the snow, depending on where you live, you like being outdoors, then I would say this job is for you. I did make more money 
at my last job than I do at this job so that is a thing but yeah that's about it that's all I really have to say I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you could please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already leave a comment down below or any questions that you may have make sure to give this video a like and I'll catch you in my next one bye guys